I am just sentimental. Are you really? I made you happy today. I might have to survey some of the homies. I just got back from Young Life with Ryan. Do you like being an only child? It is Monday and it is uh, our first day back from Maryland, our first morning. So Ryan and I flew back yesterday and Mike drove yesterday all through the day and got home at like, I'm gonna say like 1 a.m., something like that. Anyway, since he drove the car to Maryland and we flew, we could only take what was in our suitcase. We moved down here and I say moved in quotes because we literally just packed up our car and came down because we had most of our stuff here. Well, furniture and that kind of thing. Um, when we moved down, we just brought like clothes and some jewelry and like school stuff, whatever. But we did leave a lot of our, I don't know, our items that you just like, sometimes you just keep things but you don't access them on the daily, whatever. So we left some things up there. So this time since he had a car, I was like, Mike, why don't you please bring down a few things? So I kept a little list of things that I wanted to bring down. And while I was up there, I was basically loading his car. He seemed to think I'm a hoarder. I am not a hoarder, I am just sentimental. And I like things, I like to have my things. Like for example, well I'll show you, I'll show you. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack the car now and bring all my stuff in. Things like, I don't know, you'll, you're gonna see like a charcoal drawing of our engagement photo. Like, okay, I don't think that should stay there. That should definitely be displayed in our bedroom. So I'll show you some things that I brought down and you decide, you let me know if you think that it's worth bringing this down or if they should have stayed in storage up in Maryland. stuff in from Mike's car and put most of it away but now I know the things that I need to get to put the rest of it away like you know containers or I need to get like um, a, a bag holder to move all those over you know the, the little things that you need to get to make all your other stuff fit in like hooks and that kind of thing so I brought some belts back I need to get a hook for my closet so I can hang my belts yada 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 and I need to order some um, skirt hangers so that kind of stuff so anyway I feel very good about that and Mike's not Matter of fact, it's actually cleaner than it was before. Thank you very much. So <laughs> uh, it's about time. We've been here since um, permanently since July, and it's about time to sort of go through and, and look at closets again and that kind of stuff. But anyway, in the meantime, I am sitting out here on the lanai because my dad is playing golf and I'm waiting for him to go by and I fear that I've already missed him. Um, he said he was gonna be by around nine o'clock and now it's like 9.50, but I've been out here the whole time. Look at, I got my, Binoculars, so I'm like, is that dad? Nope, is that dad? They all look like, is that dad? No, because they all wear shorts, collared shirt, and have golf bags. So um, I'm gonna have to tell them to wear like a, like a distinctive hat or something. Anyway, so I'm waiting out here for that. I did not go on my walk this morning and I miss it, but I'll, I'll hopefully try to get a walk in this afternoon. I think it was because <clears throat> when I came back, I wanted to get all the stuff out of his trunk and cleaned up before he woke up. So it wouldn't uh, make him anxious as, as it relates to having like all this stuff around. Um, the other thing is I talked to Katie this morning. She always calls me on her way to class. So it's nice to catch up with her and find out how she's doing. She got initiated into her sorority this weekend, which is so exciting for her. She knows the handshake. She's allowed to wear the crest, all that stuff now. So she's officially a Chi Omega sister. So congratulations to all of those of you out there who just went through college initiation, sorority initiation. I think this was a big weekend for all of it. And especially if you're a Chi O, yay, or Sigma Kappa, that's what I am. Um, in the meantime, I haven't shared with you yet for no reason, but I bought a pepper plant. So one of my things is I would love to be a gardener. I have a brown thumb, but I would love to be a gardener. So I'm turning over a new leaf. I was able to keep some basil alive for longer than I ever have in the past. So I thought it was time to graduate to peppers. Um, you can see right here, this plant's not doing so well. That's actually the bad part of it. Look, this part of it is very green. There you go, much, much better. But let me show you my peppers. All right, this is my patio pepper plant and it's gonna grow uh, bell peppers. So you can see I've got a pepper there and I have a pepper there and another one there. 
and another guy there and two little guys there. So I'm hoping that these are going to be beautiful peppers that we're gonna eat and they're gonna be plentiful. So we've been keeping him watered. If you guys have any, any, any gardening tips, please let me know because I'm all brand new at this. If this goes well, I'm gonna buy the same kind of pot. I got this at Costco. I'm gonna buy the same kind of pot because they have them with cherry tomatoes, which tomatoes are my absolute favorite. So if I can grow peppers, then I'm gonna grow tomatoes, maybe right next to it. They need full sun, so I wanna put them right there where the sun can shine and get them all growy. And then we'll have a little little garden out here, a little vegetable garden. It's very exciting. All right, I'm gonna um, take care of my computer now. If you watched yesterday, you know, or you got my message yesterday that my computer charger is not working. So Mike's home, we're gonna try his charger in my computer, and then I'm gonna do a little troubleshooting. And if none of it works, headed to the Apple store to get a new cord. I think the only thing I need is a cord, I hope, unless it actually is the plug part that doesn't work. So stay tuned and- uh... Ryan is home from school and I need to run an errand, but I need his opinion first. Where are you, buggy? Here you are. Hello. What's up, dog? Ethan just left. Were you guys playing what? Madden. Wii? You know the Wii is in that closet. Is you know it? That? Yes. Okay, I'm about to hook it up then. Okay, why? Because you have no homework? Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to the grocery store because I'm in charge of snacks tonight for Young Life. Are you really? Would you like, yes. Would you like to join me so you can choose what snacks you get? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Is there a theme for snacks or no? No, it's just Adam Sandler is the theme for tonight. What are you oh, going to wear? Right. Are you being... Uh, oversized t-shirt, oversized shorts. Sneakers. Really? That's why wouldn't what Adam you, Sandler is. Well, but why wouldn't you be Happy Gilmore? Bring a golf club. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that'd be kind of funny. That would be kind of funny. All right, let's go to the Publix. All right, let's go. Hi, and this is what I want to know from you. What's up? Do you like being an only child? Yeah. You do? Well, it's fine, but I miss Brandon and Katie a lot. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But you like getting our attention? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. What's different about it? Uh quieter house for sure less going on more it's like more independent just because you're by yourself more but yeah right because you don't have your brother and sister around Correct. like it's it was always a party yeah yeah right oh it's going to be a party again i just spoke with brennan made some plans is he coming down it's all good maybe hey you bet. yeah oh i see you. it's hot did you see heaters on that was what the heck it is 89 degrees we do not need a seat heater Exactly. A heat cedar. Anyway. Um, what do you not like about being an only child? Uh, Other I'm than sweet. missing Brennan and Kate. Right. Um, Sorry about the air conditioning, guys. Hopefully you can't hear that. Uh, yeah, not being able to talk to, you know, my brother and sister every night and, like, play Madden with Brennan. Like, cause I play Madden with my friends, but... It's not know, the same. Exactly. It's not the same. And, um... I'll just like talk and laugh with Katie. And it's just not the same like texting them as it is just like yeah. laughing at stuff in your life. And you can't really wrestle yourself. Right, I can't put Brennan in a, <laughs> in in a headlock. A, you know, I can't choke slam Brennan. <laughs> right, <over laughs> virtually. Zoom. Right, oh, yeah. exactly. So, anyway. Okay, all right. Well. Anyway, um, we're gonna get snacks. So I might have to survey some of the homies. Well, snacks. you better do it soon because we're almost there. Right, anyway. Um, All right, you guys, I just got back from Young Life with Ryan. I had the amazing opportunity to participate. Um, and I sort of sat in the back. I didn't really participate, but I, w I stayed because I brought the, um, the snacks. And then Stephanie, who runs it, said, hey, you're going to stay? So I'm like, yeah, I want to see what goes on here. It's awesome. So I did some filming. And um, there's a lot of music and stuff, so I'm probably not going to play the audio for you. But I will give you a... Um, rundown of what's going on during the Young Life meeting. Here we go.
fun, right? So great. So many kids there. Ryan said that there weren't as many kids there tonight as there were um, other nights, but I was like, hey, it was pretty packed. I would say there's like 60 kids there. So super duper fun. And I'm so glad he's part of it. So if you guys want to look up Young Life, if you're, if you're looking for a group like that for um, you, you're in high school or you're your teen, you're a parent or a grandparent, um, they have Wildlife is for middle-aged school kids and Young Life is for high school kids. So I will put the link to the Young Life and um, Wildlife um, organization down below so you can <clears throat> take a look and click on that and see if it's something you'd like to join it's really cool very cool for um, for the teens some people carry their babies and put them to bed I carry my little kitty witty I used to carry my babies and put them to bed but now this little baby was sleeping on my yap but it's time for me to go to bed so do you want to go to bed sweet pea hi Ryan I'm putting kitty to bed what are you doing? No, because she's going to get up and be out your door in 30 minutes. She will. She will. I'll try, though. I'll put her up here and see what happens. Wait, she's sleeping with you. She what? She sleep with you? Oh, well, yeah. She oh. usually comes in the house from my bed. Like, claws me a little bit. Not claws me, but like... Like, like does yeah, her yeah. kneading thing? She usually comes up, annoys me for a little bit. Actually, mm. it's not annoying. No, she's she like, just but, wants your attention. And then... Gets out and walks around a little bit. Might come back up and then just leaves. Oh yeah, they're very active in the evening. <laughs> yeah, they sleep all day and just stay awake all night. Exactly. This and then in the morning, night. like nine out of ten days, everyone's just waiting for me outside my door. I'm like, hey, buddy. That's so cute. When you get up for school? Yeah. Oh come on! I didn't know that. That's adorable. All right. Would you like to share what made you happy today? Wait. Do we have anything else we need to report? You went to Young Life. It was good. You're doing your homework. Don't mean to bother you. Uh, no, we're all good, but, um, the Charger, or no, the Chiefs and Raiders are playing. I despise both of those teams and fan bases, so, really not wow. for anyone hey. here. <laughs> um, both are in our division. I don't know which would be better for the Chargers, but the Chiefs are at home, and I would love to see the Chiefs lose at home. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's what's happening on Monday Night Football. I'm finishing up some anatomy stuff for the second quarter, for the start of the second quarter, and um, that's basically it. What made you happy today? What made me happy today uh, was going to Young Life, mm -hmm. and just um, being back in school actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it, we were only gone for like three days, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I got to see all my friends again, um, so that was nice. All your school friends, all your Florida friends, right? Exactly. And to, to open it up with Young Life, too, that's good. So it was like a mm -hmm. total social day for you. Exactly. Awesome sauce. All right, you guys. What made me happy today was going to Ryan's Young Life. I went to deliver the snacks, and they invited me to stay. So that was really, really fun. Definitely the highlight of my day made me happy today. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So comment down below what made you guys happy today. We hope that you enjoyed today's vlog, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.